Alrighty, well we just got over to the cabin to celebrate mom's birthday this weekend. Doing everything right now to uh, unload the boat with all the supplies that we got for this trip. So it's gonna be a good one. Alrighty, first full day over at the cabin. What are we have for breakfast? We had bacon and we had hash browns and we had biscuits with honey. They were good. And, and cranberry juice. We did? And coffee. And coffee. You can't forget the coffee. <laughs> and we played cards and who won? I won the last one. <laughs> yeah, she beat me fair and square. But now we're gonna go back up. We came down and check on the anchor for our buoy and we're gonna start working on some projects. Alrighty, so update. Um, so used to, the system dealing with yesterday, um, used to be a little bit further back over there. And so the pipe that comes out of the cistern used to be underneath here. So then we moved that to right here, cut it off the excess and reattached it right here. Adventures with Ben. So over one winter, the cistern got smashed in with snow, we think, up here. And so because it smashed this area in, the top popped off. We get to try and mess with the top because we think that this top has been just contorted enough where um, there's enough of a rounding to it now where we're not able to get the top on. And so we're gonna try and jerry-rig the old top to make it fit. So I had an idea that the threads on this to try and screw it on, because it was kind of bowed, that we needed to kind of cut a little bit of a space so that we could kind of contort the lid and get it to fit. And sure enough, it worked. Alrighty, so in the video that I uploaded a couple days ago, um, Dad and I put the gutters up on here. Well now, we have this set up where this gutter system will be able to go from right here, collect water. We need to attach this a little bit better. This is just temporary, so that way it can go into there. And the lid is now back on tight enough to just to keep any kind of crud out of here. And we're almost, we're getting there slowly but surely. And I know. There are probably other ways to do this, easier ways to do this, even better ways to do what we're working on. However, we're working with what we got. And so when you're working with what you got, you do what you can. And that system is what we got. Well, it is the morning of mom's birthday, and I just stepped outside to do a little bit of looking around. And one, two, and three deer in our backyard. Love to see it. <laughs> Happy birthday, mom. What is one thing you're thankful for this morning? I'm thankful for the Lord and for how He's blessed me with a wonderful family and that I get to spend it with the two most important men in my life. Aww. That's Dad over there and that's me. Alright, so project of the day for my mom is a um, 
storage thing for our wood. And so this is what we have so far. We'll put all the big wood right here and then medium sized kindling down here and then smaller kindling right here. And on the front porch and look at this view. Man, isn't this gorgeous? And here is the finished product. Big logs that go all here, small kennel here, medium sized stuff there, and looks good. And now all the wood that was right here and over there is now nicely stacked. Crested woodpecker, if I'm not mistaken by my identification of birds. Crap balls, where'd it go? I got it. Look at that. Well, it is a few hours later, and Mom and I went and hiked some behind the house. Probably, I mean, not really that far of a hike. Maybe round trip was a mile and a half, if that, but not bad. Mom got a little wet with one of the muskeg holes we have here, so we came around early. Came back and we had um, burritos for dinner, which was super good. And then, let's see, we've all taken showers and just really enjoying the beautiful evening that it is. And um, I realized, I Googled and figured out what kind of woodpecker it was, because I thought it was called a red crested woodpecker. But it's actually something called a red breasted sap sucker. And fun fact, there's only eight types of woodpeckers in Alaska, according to one website I found. So if you can trust everything you read on Google, then that might be right. If you can't, who knows? But anyways, it's kind of cool to see. So what you would have just seen me hammering away on are, was one of two platforms that we're gonna use to put um, some tanks on outside using some pressure treated stuff so that way the uh, wood doesn't rot. And so now I'm down here at the beach looking for some big rocks to set these on. So yeah. All right, and here's the finished product. A couple rocks underneath this platform and this platform so we can store some propane. And that's where we used to have just some old pallet that just finally rotted away and so this is gonna work better. In a video many moons ago, these up. And last time that we had these running, we had to hardwire it straight into the box because we didn't have power from there going down to the outlet. Well now, See how there's no fancy electric coming out of here that could electrocute you? We got it working. So what you didn't get to see, because I did it off camera, was on our deck, our boards had rotten. So we just pulled that sucker up, cleaned it out, and I'm about to put the new board down. Alrighty, so new board has now been put down and has been nailed down. Well, yesterday, my mom and I had gone hiking up in the muskeg behind our property, but she slipped into some muskeg and wasn't able to get out. Well, we got her out, but she was just cold and wet, and so we came back. But we weren't able to get to a ridgeline that I have seen 
I wanted to go check out. So here I am now, trusty everything on in hand and heading back there to see and explore. I haven't been back to this ridge line before, so I'm excited to see what I can see. So here's to trekking. You know, I was thinking about it and I realized that some of you may not know what muskeg is. And so let me show you. This is muskeg, spongy ground, and there are muskeg holes like this that who knows how deep it is. And so when you're navigating through like a muskeg flat like this, you gotta kind of pay attention to where you're going because see how spongy this ground is. And you wanna see like, that looks kind of spongy, so does that. That looks like the worst though right there. So you kind of got to step with it, jump a little bit, and just trust that what you're going to land on is solid and hope that it is. So, yeah. But I mean, this is what hiking behind the cabin looks like. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, well, we've had a pretty good morning so far, and we're now taking care of a couple projects before we clean everything up in the cabin, so that way we can head back to the town today. And in good old Southeast Alaska tradition, the day that we are gonna be taking off and heading back over the main island, it decided to start raining on us. Thankfully, it's just drizzling right now, so it's not horrible yet. Um, we'll see if the rain comes and stays or if it decides to keep on passing through. And right now, our boat's still nice, high, and dry. So we got some time. And so ends the trip. Closing up all the fuel so that way you're just better safe than sorry. And the weather turned out to be pretty good. So it's holding off for right now. Boat's all, all ready to go. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty good day to head back.